What's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News. The last couple standing from Love Island, USA, season three, Shannon and Josh are no longer together. Josh posted a very long caption on Instagram announcing the split. I am going to get to that shortly, but I do want to let all of my Love Island, USA, season three supporters know that, yes, I have seen all of the mess going on on social media. I will absolutely be back with detailed videos. You all know that when I post, I come with facts and I'm very detailed. And that's the reason why it's taking me a few days to jump on this because every day that I made an attempt to talk about it, someone else was tweeting. Someone else was on social media. Someone else was on Twitch. Another person's on Instagram live. It's just been a hot mess, okay? And I'm talking about the two people who were a part of the Fab Four, Shannon and Josh, Caché and Single. As you can see on the screen, Single and Caché were the first comments that came up for me when I went to Josh and Shannon's page. It's so ironic that they are the first two comments. And yes, they all had a very close friendship. I will be back with those videos, but let me get to Josh caption real quick, and then we'll talk more about this. Hey everyone, there's been a lot of discussion around the status of our relationship, so we wanted to send all of you an update. As you guys know, Shannon has been in PA the last few weeks, supporting her sister with the birth of her niece. She's been figuring out her next career move and has always had a passion for skincare. Although she loves Florida, she has decided to go back to school to become an esthetician and be closer to the baby. Josh is in Florida pursuing his fitness career as an online personal trainer, it has always been a dream of his to live in Florida and start his own business, and he's doing just that. Keywords, pay attention now. It has always been a dream of his to live in Florida and start his own business, and he's doing just that. His dreams, what he wants to do, not our dream even though there are times that on instagram live she said oh yeah i want to move there too this statement is saying his so think about all of the sacrifices and things that shannon had to do for the relationship of course leaving the villa was a no-brainer the man you claim you love just lost his sister absolutely you know, they left together and she's been there ever since. And then he says, I want to move to Florida. And she says, sure, I'm going to leave my family, my sister, everything, and I'm going to move with you. And then she got there and she realized, yes, absolutely. I love this man so much. And there's a possibility that he could be my person and forever. But what about my dreams and what I want to do and my family and to move all the way over here. Well, I have Josh, but to be this far away from my family, that's not something that I'm used to. So I'm glad that they're both being mature about it. Let's continue reading. We love this life we've built together, but sometimes timing is everything. It certainly has been hard being apart and we've been trying to take the right steps to further both of our careers. We have created so many memories and achievements together over this past year. From love to, you all know that Josh lost his sister, may her soul rest in peace, and everything in between. We have been by each other's side with support and friendship and the greatest love for each other that words cannot even begin to describe. No one can take that away from us. We want to thank every single one of you that supported us along this crazy journey. We will always love and care for one another and remain friends, but unfortunately, at this time, we've made a decision to go our separate ways. There is no bad blood between us. The people closest to us know we rarely had arguments. We are literally best friends. So we both want to see each other succeed and be happy always. We would appreciate you all giving us privacy during this time. 
we will continue to support one another and thrive independently. And we encourage you all to do the same. We love you all so much and are grateful to have such amazing supporters follow along our journey. From the very beginning, you all have made this an experience we will never forget and we are thankful every day that we get to wake up and do what we love because of all of you. We don't know what the future holds and this may not be goodbye forever, but for now, it's best for both of us. Heart emoji with love, Josh and Shannon. So Shannon posted enjoying some sushi and rice and Josh posted a similar type of meal that he was having as well around the same time. So it looks like, you know, they were probably together. So it looks like they were together. He seems to be in great spirits. I do wish them the best. There you have it, okay? Praying for the family. It's been a lot. At the very early stages of their relationship, they had to leave the villa because they got the call that his sister was no longer here. With the back and forth and, you know, traveling and going to be with his family and going to be with her family and then her leaving everything behind to move to where he wants to move and where he wants to start his career and his dream, but that not being hers. So this is what you do. You walk away before you do something inappropriate. Now, we don't know their business, and I'm not insinuating anything, but if you see that it's going to be hard and the relationship is not going to work, then you just bow out gracefully and peacefully and move on. And that's what was going on on social media with the other couple, but then it just turned messy, and I'm going to get to that. I am wishing Josh and Shannon absolutely nothing but the best. She did post these pictures before her sister had the babies. I wanted you all to see her sister when she was pregnant. This was at the baby shower. So I'm glad that she's going to be there for her family. She's been there for Josh and I'm sure he appreciates her. That's also another thing. After someone have been there for you, how do you tell them this is not working have a nice life? This person was here for me through one of my darkest moments and helped encourage me to get me back to where I need to be emotionally and all of that after losing my sister at such a young age. How do you walk away from someone like that, regardless of whatever else has gone on behind the scene? So it takes a lot of strength to say, thank you for the help. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I wish you well. And that's it. So I do wish the both of them the best. I don't post about Josh and Shannon often at all. So don't worry. That privacy, you're absolutely going to get the whole sushi thing and information you just saw on the screen. I was on their page when they wrote about their breakup. So I figured just get all the information you need to talk about it and move on. So no worries. I will not be digging in the Instagram stories to see who's doing what. But whatever they're doing separately, if I feel like, you know, updating on their lives separately, I will. I also wanted you all to know that I was working on those different topics. So I meant no disrespect by including cashier and single in this video. I just wanted you all to know because I already know the comment section was going, did you see girl? Where's the video? I know it's coming. I'm wishing all of you well. Have a safe and wonderful weekend and take care. And I hear my friend I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also turn on notifications so when I do post you where I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.